welcome to another vlog. I feel like I haven't really vlogged in so long. The last video that you guys saw was our Yellow Springs vlog, which was like not really a typical vlog, you know? And then the one before that was just like talking about uplifting and thrifting. So I wanted to make a day in my life and just update you guys on everything. I'm probably gonna talk your ear off. I'm probably gonna talk about so many different things, update you guys on things I've been loving and all of that stuff. So it's gonna be a chatty, what's new in my life type of vlog. So I don't even know where to start. Basically it is Monday morning. If you don't know, I started uplifting and thrifting, which is my online thrift page, which I have been having so much fun and you guys have really been enjoying it. So that makes me really happy. So that is what I've been doing full time. So I no longer work at the clothing boutique. I thought that this was the time to take the leap and like try my own things. So that's what I did and I have been loving it. It has been so much fun. It's been going really good. Um, I have an eyebrow appointment today because let me just look at those. Those are so embarrassing. Those are Corona eyebrows and I was trying to trim them. I was going to go in and pluck them and do the whole thing. Like I trim them with scissors cause they get so long. So I like brush them up. And so I was doing that and I accidentally cut right in here. So there is a large chunk missing. Can't wait for my eyebrow lady to see that. I'm doing that in a little bit. I've been using this self-tanner, the Tanologist Express Tan in dark. I got mine from Target. The lighting in my bathroom is even worse. But I'm gonna do a full review on this. So I'm not gonna talk about it in this vlog, but if you wanted to know what I'm using, this is it, I'll have it linked down below. I tried to like talk to you guys about it on Instagram and I just have so much to say about it. And I think it would probably help people to see me apply it as well. Okay, another update was I bought an iPad and I wrestled with the idea of getting one for a long time. Didn't know if I should, but I knew I really wanted to create digital art and make stickers and that sort of thing. And an iPad was how I would do so. So I finally got one. This is it. I don't even have like a screensaver or anything. This is Procreate. Um, a lot of people ask like how I make artwork and stuff. And it's through Procreate. Like this is all the artwork I did in the beginning of uplifting and thrifting. These are like the first ever stickers I made. I made some of Moose. How freaking cute. So these are my favorite stickers that I've made. So that is another update. I'm probably going to play around on this for a little bit. Also, my favorite combination is the Stoke cold brew coffee and the coconut cream creamer especially in summer so good hey guys it's much later i'm home i got my brows did they look so much better i'm not naked i have a bandeau top on so moose is on another level I have been working on some uplifting and thrifting stuff and I figured I would show you what I'm working on since I said I'm updating you on my life. Um, let me show you my office. It really looks like I'm naked. I am so sorry guys. Let me at least like do this. Yeah, I'm just gonna look naked, sorry. So this is my office. Our bedroom's over here and it connects. We added this desk in. Usually all that stuff isn't on there. I have like my planners and then this is all just like note cards. Usually stickers are in here but receipts are in there currently. Some stickers, my pencils and stuff and then what I put stickers in. So that, I got these because it's just easier for me to have bins to put my pickups and my shipping stuff in so I can keep it organized. This is the same, my makeup area, it's a mess. And then this used to be where my desk is. That just, it's so ugly, but it keeps all like my socks, underwear, that sort of thing. And then this is in here and it holds all of the clothes that I have for uplifting and thrifting. So I just did try-ons for the next two launches, which are gonna be kind of like a cozy, cute theme. And then 
um, my pride theme because it is pride month which is awesome so i did that my hair looks like it's kind of getting long which is really exciting because i would love for my hair to like grow like at least like past my boobs a little for the wedding i did finally pick up this mario badescu that how you say it rose water spray that literally everyone talks about because i just feel like it would be nice to spray on my face also i haven't been wearing makeup and i mean i put mascara on and i've just been feeling like really put together and like still feeling good about myself which is a huge accomplishment but i also got some more of my l'oreal voluminous lash paradise and because i got my brows done i got a free bag and it is so it says brow stuff. Isn't that cute? I mean, like, I would never have that much brow stuff. But this is so cute for makeup. So, that is what I was doing. Now, I am going to pre-make some tags because I realized, like, my biggest struggle, or not my biggest struggle, but just, like, one of the annoying things was not having tags ready to go and having to make them like while i'm trying to package the orders so i just used these and then i draw them out myself so some of them look really bad and i apologize for that but it's just the name of the game your hand gets tired and it's just it's just what it is uplifting and thrifting i've like said it before is obviously just a lot more to me like i want to connect with people and make them feel loved so like i try to do it in little ways and one of the little ways is tags so on each of them on the back it says something different um like you are loved you're beautiful and hopefully it'll reach the right person and it'll be exactly what someone needs to hear so that is what i'm going to be doing i will see you guys in a little bit so i got done making tags and now i'm about to get ready to make dinner but anyways i wanted to talk about a few things the first thing is the book i'm reading i'm reading the hate you give so with everything that's going on in the world with black lives matter i've been trying to really educate myself and i've been trying to really like pause and read all of the things that people are posting and really inform myself because honestly until this happened i don't think i was very educated and it was just something at the back of my mind that you know i didn't think about a lot i didn't think about racism and how it still exists today and i really want to be better i want to be a better human i want to better myself now so i can be a better mother someday it's just crazy the things you don't realize are happening when they're not happening to you which is something that i've really realized so there have been a ton of book recommendations so many of them are sold out or on back order um because you know everyone's trying to educate themselves so i couldn't get ones that i wanted like i really wanted to get white fragility i think that's what it's called i really wanted to get that one which i will soon so i got the hate you give and i can already tell it's going to be a really good book and i just read chapter one so i'm excited to read that yeah the black lives matter is not something i just want to forget about and move on with um it's something i really want to continue to learn and educate and help others learn and educate themselves too so another thing i talk about my bible and the bible study i'm doing all the time i feel like but i never know like if i actually included it in a vlog or not but I really want to talk about my faith more on my channel because it is something I'm really trying to grow in, something that's really important to me. And I feel like I'm scared to share it on the internet. One, because I know as a Christian, I know there are very amazing and loving Christians out there who are understanding and welcoming and want you to grow but there's also christians out there who can be harsh and critical and if you say one thing wrong you know they're coming for you <laughs> not that i think any of you guys are gonna do that but you know i just get nervous about saying the wrong thing but i think not saying anything is worse than saying the wrong thing sometimes so another thing is you know i've shared my story with you guys and i've openly said that like i didn't believe at one time and i feel like i don't know sometimes i feel like i'm not educated enough i'm not smart enough in the subject i'm kind of rambling and i guess i'm just doubting myself it would have been helpful for me even now to see someone out there on the internet who 
lost their faith and came back to it or someone who didn't grow up in church and doesn't know as much as a lot of Christians that I follow or you know just someone who doesn't know as much who is learning as uh, someone in their 20s I'm gonna be trying to share more about that I just like rambled because I get so nervous but if you guys would like to see stuff like that Christian related I would love to know down below just to like affirm it but I think the first video I'm gonna do is talking about like the tools that I use so like the Bible I use different Bible studies websites YouTube channels videos so yeah anyways I just rambled and now I'm gonna go Dinner. I told you guys this was gonna be a really rambly one, okay? I haven't talked to you guys in so long. So this is what we are making for dinner tonight. I don't know if I already talked about it, but I got this cookbook for my cousin's fiance for her bridal shower and I peeked inside hers and loved it. So I bought it for myself and we've loved every recipe so far. And also I don't know if I mentioned it. So we started adding meat back into our diet just a little bit. We still try to eat vegetarian sometimes, but on occasion we've been eating meat. So we're making some chicken parmesan tonight. I'm hoping it's really good. I just cut the chicken, pounded it as much as I could um, and seasoned it. I don't know if I showed you guys, but I ordered through Instacart some chicken. It said on average, like per pound, it's like four to six dollars. So I wrote a note and I said, can you make sure there's four chicken breasts in the package? If not, can you add one on for me? So she delivers my thing and I look at the chicken. Do you guys see how big? Like, I don't think you get how big. This whole thing weighs six pounds. She gave me six pounds of chicken and it cost me $11.89 for this chicken. So, as you saw, I had two chicken breasts. Yeah, this is actually one cut in half and even then they are the biggest pieces I've ever seen. So, if anyone would like some chicken, you are welcome at my house. Um, we've got a ton of it. So, I'm not complaining because you know, it's better to have too much than too little So there's that But I was shocked when I saw it so funny, but just make it some dinner I haven't cooked meat in my house in so long that I'm like, I don't know what to do It's a little later now. I didn't film the dinner and what it looked like and how it tasted it that's was the most important part okay. it tasted good the, the chicken was massive yeah it was still just like so thick and i think it could have been better if it would have been thinner and yeah but it was still pretty decent but it could have been better if our chicken was different <laughs> Um, anyways, we are going to get ice cream. We do this way too often, I feel like, in the summer. Yeah. The Dairy Queen is literally like two minutes away. So, I mean, it's just the perfect little treat after dinner. Sometimes as a dinner replacement, I mean. <laughs> so, that is what we're doing. How would you rate our night so far? 10 out of 10. We're dancing. I didn't film any of the fun parts. Whenever Brian gets home from work, I just hang out with him and I forget that I'm filming. Because I love you. Also, Brian got his diploma. He graduated with honors. Didn't even know it. Okay, so we're back. We got ice cream. I didn't film it, of course. But I figured we'd end the vlog on me showing you some stuff that I tie-dyed and bleached for uplifting and thrifting. This one, I feel like, turned out so super cool it is Harley Davidson this one was all red and I bleached it and I didn't have much hope but it actually looks so cool this one was a fail okay it was originally blue and I didn't use that much bleach and it turned the whole thing white so uh, I think I'm just gonna tie-dye this okay well that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching hope you loved it don't be zooming are mm -hmm. you zooming no not anymore
<laughs> okay. No, I'm not. Thanks so much. <laughs> Love you guys. See you in the next video. Bye. Stop. Bye. Bye. I'm done.